Hi, Mark Bruno with Printing News and PrintingNews.com, and here with me today is Kevin Kern, Senior VP of Marketing at Conica Minolta. Good Welcome, morning, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's day three of Graph Expo 15. Exactly. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> we're catching our breath. Uh, Kevin, you've been with, with KM now for, for over a decade, I believe. Um, reflect a little bit for us on you know changes within the company, changes within the industry that have impacted the company in, in your, in your uh, term here. Sure, yeah. I've actually been, it'll be 21 years next month that I've been with the company. And uh, it's very interesting, when I first came here, we were just moving into higher end digital. So we came up with this 50 page minute digital product that sort of changed Konica at the time. And then, you know, from there we went up market. So we sort of got into the print production market, you know, 95, 96. It's just been a long, steady progress to where we are today. Mm -hmm. I think the coolest things are the software and applications and solutions that you can wrap around the device these days and the ability to influence the customer's profitability through things like workflow and you know, graphic communication, media, uh, cross media, et cetera. So it's, it's still, a, in my view, a growing and really exciting business to be in. And, and in terms of some of those products that, that you offer, you know, that, that kind of answer those, those evolutionary changing times within the industry, elaborate a little bit more on what's here at the show and, and what you guys are, are focused on for, for 2015 and looking up you know, ahead to Drupa next year. Sure. Uh, First of all, on the show, we've got a wide range of solutions. We've introduced Solomar, we've introduced uh, Domino Decision Making for analytics, and we're seeing a large, much larger IT component within print these days. So that's one of the biggest things we're doing. The second thing we're really focused on is opening new markets. For example, we're showing samples of our KM1 uh, Inkjet Digital Press, which will ship uh, spring of next year. And uh, we're really looking to expand, you know, for example, that uses B B B2 size, I can speak today, uh, press sheets, six up, 3,000 um, pages per hour, or 1,500 uh, two-sided. So it really gives a different level of productivity and capability mm. in the marketplace today. The other area we have here is a toner-based uh, roll-to-roll labeling system. And we see a big market there where printers can expand into short-run label work as well. So between the software and the hardware, and uh, our other big thing is the services we offer. We see a lot of opportunity. We've got a great turnout here at the show. And in terms of uh, you know near future, uh, as we as we approach the fourth quarter here and, and work into 2016, um, what trends uh, you know do, do you see coming down the pike? Does Conica you know is Conica aware of in terms of of making you know making changes to address changes in the industry? Well, I think the changes in the industry are, you know, we're sort of in like stage three of the revolution now. First it was digital, then it was really high quality, ton high quality toner based color. Now you're seeing the market branching off into these new areas, for example, inkjet actual presses. A lot more variable data, which has been around forever, but the utility of variable data with things like cross media applications where you can do the SMS, you can do the email, and all these things in integrated campaigns, and with the analytics backing that up, this is the thing that the end user customers of print are looking for, because a lot of those services they don't want to carry in-house, and it's a great area that value add can happen for a printer in the graphic communication space. So we see a lot more of that integration. Again, better technology coming, new markets again like labeling, packaging, et cetera. You look at the um, iFoiler and some of the things you're doing with MGI in terms of really high quality output that adds margin and value for the printer and value for the customer as well. Well, Kevin, we, uh, we appreciate your insights and we appreciate you taking some time to speak with us. Uh, I hope the next couple of days the traffic is as brisk as it was yesterday in the booth for you guys. Well, we do too, and uh, we, had a, we really have a good feeling about the show here this year. It's, uh, the one thing I'll say in this show is we had a lot of traffic, but it seems to be a higher quality traffic in terms of people are actually interested in looking at new technologies and buying here than it has been the past several years. So we think this builds a lot of momentum into Drupa for the industry. Definitely. Well, have, have a great Thanks rest much, of the man. show. Enjoy.